All right, we've left one question hanging. How to write all decimals as fractions? Now let me start off with something familiar like one fourth. And the thing to realize here that a fraction is really an answer to a division problem. That this one here is really the answer to one divided by four. And I can literally do that in a 10-1 machine. But let me do it now. So here's a 10-1 machine. In fact, I have a feeling I'm going to go into decimals. So let's do this part of it here. And I'm looking for one, one dot, divided by four. What does four look like? Well, it looks like dot, 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 dot. OK, so the question is, can I find any groups of four in the picture I have up here? That's what division is. And the answer is, well, not right now, but we know what to do. In fact, I can unexplode this and have 10 dots appear here. So I'm, gonna get, I'm getting tired of drawing dots. I'm going to just write numbers. I hope that's OK. All right, so the question is, do I see any fours in there? Well, I see one group of four. I'll see a second group of four. That's two groups of four. That's eight of them. And that'll leave two behind. So I'll see two at that level, and there'll be two dots left behind. Great. Now, those two dots there, what can I do with them? Well, I could unexplode them. And that would make, what, 20 dots here. Do I see any groups of four amongst those 20? You bet. I'll see five of them, and I believe that leaves none behind. So actually, when I do conduct this, this division problem, 1 divided by 4, I see I get the answer nothing, 0.25, nothing, 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 nothing. So actually, the answer is 0 0.25. Now, most people don't bother writing the extra zeros, because there's a whole lot of them, infinitely many of them. They just stop at 0.25. Or if you want to write a whole bunch of zeros, feel free. All good. In fact, I'm going to choose to write a bunch of zeros, because I see they just keep going 0, 0, 0, nice repeating pattern. All right, because you know, I'm just hinting at something right now. One fourth was nice because you know some decimals do give you repeating patterns. For example, the classic one you might be thinking of right now is one three, one third. That is one divided by three. So if I do that one in a 10 one machine, let's see what happens. One dot, bingo. I'm looking for three. What does three look like? Well, literally three dots. I don't see any right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unexplode it and have 10 dots there. Can I find any threes in that picture? You bet, I'll find three groups of three with one dot left behind. So it'll be three groups of three, one dot left behind. Oh, one dot here, unexplode. Will I find any threes in there? You bet I will. I'll find three groups of three with one dot left behind. Unexplode, 10 dots there. Will I find any groups of three? You bet, three groups of three, one left behind. I seem to be in a loop and I'll be doing this forever. So I'm now going to say that one third is 0.3333 forever. Again, another repeating decimal pattern. So one quarter, people say is a finite decimal, or if you want to say it is actually a repeating pattern, a whole bunch of repeating zeros eventually. Grand, one third is also a repeating pattern. Let's do a more awkward fraction next. Let me work out the decimal representation of six sevenths. That's a really awkward number. It's going to take a little while. We're going to do it, but I need to clean the board, so I'll be right back. All right. All right, I'm back. Let's do the decimal expansion of the fraction six sevenths. That is, let's work out the division problem six divided by seven. It's going to be awkward, it's going to be long, but let's actually do it. All right, here goes. So let me draw my 10-1 machine. I'm going to need a lot of boxes, methinks. Whoa, how many, maybe that's enough, who knows. Uh, six dots, being there, six dots, divided by seven. So I'm looking for groups of seven and a picture of six dots. Right now I don't have any, but we know what to do. We'll unexplode. So unexplode six times, we'll make 60 dots there. Now the question, do I find any sevens amongst 60? You bet. Um, I'd find eight sevens amongst that. So I guess I get eight groups of seven. That's 56, leaving, what, four dots behind. All right. Now what happens? Uh, let's see. So uh, four dots unexplode makes 40 dots here. Any sevens amongst that? Uh, seven times five is 35. Five groups of seven, leaving five behind. So far, so good. Five dots left behind. Don't see any sevens there. But if I unexplode, I get 50 dots there. 50 dots. Any groups of seven amongst that? Uh, seven times seven is 49. Yes. So there'll be seven groups of seven there, leaving one behind. <sighs> OK, I'm still going. Uh, no sevens there, but it's unexplode makes 10 dots. Any sevens in there? Yep, one group of seven, leaving what? Three behind? Oh, I'm going to be here for a while. OK, three, unexplode makes 30. Um, whoops, I didn't mean to cross that out. 30. Um, uh, four groups of seven, 28. Four groups of seven, uh, leaving what? Two behind. Oh, golly gee. Uh, all right, unexplode, unexplode makes 20. Uh, 14, that's uh, two groups of seven, leaving six behind. Six behind. Unexplode makes 60. Uh, 56, that's eight groups of seven, leaving four behind. I feel like I'm doing this all again. In fact, we started with six here. I uh, went through this chain, 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 and I went back to six again. So I must be repeating what I just did. 
which must come what be 8, 5, 7, 1, 4, 2, and I must have another remainder of 6, giving me back to 8, 5, 7, 1, 4, 2. I'm in an infinite loop. That 6 sevenths is going to be 0 0.8571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571428571